Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can calculate the difference between time in Java. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you have java.time.localTime and java.time.duration imported at the top of your code. We'll be needing these for this tutorial. Then, in our main method, we're going to do two lines of code. We're going to do local time, time1 equals local time dot of 9 comma 30, and then we can do local time, time2 equals local time dot of 1745. So we're going to be using the local time object to store our times that we want to get the difference between, and it's really easy to set up. You just create an instance of the class, and for the parameters you pass in, you need to do the hours, then the minutes. So 9 hours, 30 minutes is 9.30 a.m. And if you want to do p.m. time, you need to pass in the time that would be on a 24-hour clock. So if I want to do 5.45 p.m., I pass in the 17 and the 45. So now we've got our two times set up. Next, we're going to do duration, duration equals duration dot between time 1 and time 2. This is a duration object, part of the time library in Java, and it can store the duration between two times. Pass in the first local time, and then we pass in the second local time, which we created here. And this is going to now have the, the duration between those two times. So what we now need to do is we need to now get some information out of this object, then print it, and we've got a readable difference between two times. So what we can do is we can do long hours equals duration dot two hours and long minutes equals duration dot two minutes mod 60. So firstly, we're using long instead of int because Java's time classes use longs as opposed to ints because longs can store bigger values and you might have a time duration that's too big for an integer. So we use long to keep it consistent and to be on the safe side to prevent any overflows. So Duration dot two hours. This is going to return the total duration in hours as a long, and this is going to be the whole number of hours between the two times provided. And duration dot two minutes mod 60 calculates the total duration in minutes and then uses the mod operator, which is the percent symbol, to find the remainder when divided by 60. This basically gives the minutes part that is over and above the complete hours. For example, if the total duration was 130 minutes, 2 minutes would return 130, and 130 mod 60 would give a value of 10, which is the minutes beyond the total amount of out complete hours we have in our time. And obviously, 130 minutes would be 2 hours and 10 minutes. So basically, here we're getting the, com the amount of completed hours in our duration, and here we're getting every single minute, minute of that duration. And if we do a mod 60, because there's 60 minutes in an hour, we get the remainder, which is how many minutes there are, in addition to how many hours there are. After that, we can then do system.printline, difference, plus hours, plus hours, and plus minutes, plus minutes. So here's our hours long variable being used, and here is the minutes long variable being used, and we have some strings to let the user know what those numbers mean. So let's say if I work into hit play. As you can see, it says 8 hours and 15 minutes. Now let's do 10.45 as opposed to 9.30. As you can see, it says 1 hours and 15 minutes. You could also correct the program so it would say 1 hour as opposed to 1 hours. Now, what happens if time 1 occurs after time 2? So we'll do 11.30 for the first time and keep the other time as 10.45. Well, it actually gives you a negative number, which could be quite handy. Anyway, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.